Welcome guys, I'm out of 666. Alright, this is going to be a new one. Okay, first off, let me get my fat ass in my chair. Get my controller. Alright. Alright, I, I, <laughs> this is going to be a long rant, so I'm sorry, but I'm waiting because I don't want to start the game. One, there's so many questions here. One, this is the PlayStation Classic that was just released. Everyone says it's terrible. I disagree. But we're going to see it together. We're going to play a full game on it and see if it's as bad as they fucking say. Now, I'm so curious to see how you guys take this. Also, I need to keep track of time. 1.55. Okay. Yeah, you can hear I'm out of breath. I'm actually excited. I'm not fat. It might be both. But I'd like to think of my favorite Christmas. Or for you guys, any holiday that you love. Just, just level with me here. I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm trying to... And I was think, also thinking back of what made me a gamer. What defined me as a gamer. And I have to say, it was two games in my heart. I played many games before these games, but two games showed me just, wow, that story that you could care about something you've never seen before that just immersed me in these worlds that I never thought I could grab or get into ever. Metal Gear Solid was one of those games. The other game was Tomb Raider. Now, Tomb Raider 2 to be specific, because I got into the console late, and that's what I think they did here. If you guys remember a demo disc, I swear that's what they tried to replicate, because when I got PlayStation, I got it late. Tekken was on that disc, I think Twisted Metal was on that disc, I know that was on it, I know Cool Borders was on it, Tomb Raider 2 was on it, and I know Metal Gear was on it, because it was the most played demo I'd ever played in my life which Hideo Kojima then did again with two, I mean, Christ, people bought Zony Energy to play that demo. Then PT, I mean, <laughs> man's just a genius. But, either way, what I wanted to say, and I don't know why they never do this. Okay, there's so many things here. One, how are you going to play this game? There's no book. If you're new here, I'm not going to explain to you why you need a book, but you need a book. <laughs> there's a part in the game, which I know the numbers, but you literally can't progress without the numbers, so I'm real curious about that. And two, when Christmas came of 98, which still quotes right there, I actually didn't knew this anyways, but when Christmas came of 98, and this was under the tree, I don't know who did the packaging, but in America, it was a bright white uh, cover and just real reflective surface. I mean, it was literally like it was designed to be under a Christmas tree. I don't know how they did it. And I've had so many great Christmas gifts, but for some reason, this one was always one of my favorites. I don't know why. But let's get her started. Uh, I want to make this something different. So I'm one, I'm going to be playing on the hard difficulty. That's probably going to be a disaster, because this controller sucks donkey balls. It doesn't have the analog, mind you. And two, and I'm asking, I'm setting a rule with you guys. If you're fans of this series, put every Easter egg you've con fucking think of in the in the comments because that's what I'm trying to do I'm gonna put everything I know about this game reason I want to do this it amazes me how just this one game how much shit it had people didn't know let's fucking rock this dude I'm so excited this is gonna be cool I'm showing you everything I know oh <laughs> that takes me back holy shit I just wanted to do this really bad Just gonna try these auto settings, see how they work. If we don't like them, I'll I'll get better. That's all I can do. I don't know why I never thought to use the tripod before. Fucking idiot. Should I? Let me see if we should do that. It's a little button on every fucking HD TV. It allows you to fix the screen size. I'm gonna wait for something to be on the screen because I can't fucking see. Okay. Konami Computer Entertainment Japan. Hideo Kojima or Hideo? I don't know. I think it's Hideo. Alaska Baron C. Come on, give me fucking light, bitch. That didn't really help. What the fuck? There it is. Let's see if anything cuts it off. Come on. Come on. I'm in the button. Where is it? Where's the goddamn TV G spot? Where the fuck it is? The nuclear weapons nope, that cuts the words off. On Shadow Moses Island, and Alaska's nope, we have to do wide. Was a 
attacked and captured by Nick's Wait, what's special normal? forces. Yeah, why? <laughs> by members of Foxhound. Sometimes it works, it's right. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. And they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. It's pronounced nuclear. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue Dark and Chief Donald Anderson. Oh my god, this takes you the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. So to fucking awesome. Whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike, to stop them if they do. I have never played this without vibration, man. This is What's weird. Insertion. The the insertion. Approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach. What? I thought it was approach. One man is I'm thinking of another one. After the SCP gets as close as it can, dispose of them. From there on, you'll have to swim. Oh yeah, you get to see the bugs if you can that I have to deal with all the time, sorry. <laughs> get off the fucking screen, I hate you little bastards. I special forces unit Foxhound, your former unit. You can't see it, can you? Of course you can't. So they're still around. There are six members of the size of a fucking map. This terrorist activity. Psycho map. Oh my god. Get the fuck off the screen, I'm sorry. Well, this is going to probably get skipped by a lot of people. We're probably going to rewatch that, but we're not. We're going to rewatch it in a way. Something I never understood about this game. They never really explained the impertinence, like the pertinency of briefing. It's definitely worth. What? There's VR training in this? What? Really? Hey, remember there was VR training. Yeah, we're gonna fucking do that. Like, we're first playing this. I wanna show you everything that I had of my childhood. But we're gonna go briefing. The one cool easter egg I wanted to tell you that I don't see many people do. If you actually try to leave the briefing early and say, Fuck this, this is too much talking. They trick you into taking the mission anyways. I think that's so fucking amazing that they cover all bases. On a PlayStation 1. Well, here we go. I think there's an order to it, but I never did it that way. Because if you look at the times, watch. I'll show you. Here we go. Plus, I never looked at this as an adult, so I'm kind of curious if I find holes in the story. Been a long time, Snake. Shouldn't have left you. Should have known you this, Colonel. Step two? Oh, to step two. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. Why am I butt naked? You, want from me? you seem very comfortable Just with this, Snake. So we could have a talk and fight it. That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Yes. Sorry if they were a little rough with you. A little? Oh. But we've got a serious situation here. Mm -hmm. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Fox Sound. You're not my commander anymore. Oh, this isn't a fucking thing in real life. Or anyone else. They keep calling one goddamn you guy over and over. <laughs> I know it. Excuse me. Ooh, who's this? He's a, ooh, Dr. Dr. Amy Amy Hunter. She's chief of Fox Sound's medical staff and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. I thought Don't I used worry. to tell you what this the, uh... won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Acronyms? The abbreviation stood for. I thought Snake I used to tell you. It, it all went down five hours ago. Really? You just let her stick it in here? armed soldiers <laughs> occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces huh. led by members of Unit Foxhound. Here we go. Presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Nuclear. God nuclear damn it. Weapon. Nuclear. I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Huh? Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon. Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson. Okay. But luckily, he has the no fucking expression Tech, whatsoever. Kenneth Baker. Because they could program little frames they're of animation they wanted to. Hostages. It's cool. Those are some heavy duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike. Right. And stop them if they do. 
Any questions, Snake? This is bullshit. Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's ever done it. We'll see the 230, 231. You watch the numbers actually correspond. I wonder what if anything happens if you watch it in order. It'll eject itself. It's so cool. I bet there is a secret system. Do I have to hit the fucking thing? I never no. Really? I have to stop it? I was gonna say bullshit. There's a lot of fucking just sitting there staring at him, really? So you have no idea. I picked up a two forty seven. Let's try who's in charge of the operation. Nope, 941. God damn, I wasn't even close. This is weird. I've never had fucking no analog on this. Colonel, who are you speaking? I can't look up Naturally, if you're wondering. Yeah, representing the US or down, government. smart ass. So who's in supervisory control of this operation? The President of the United States. Who? Which means that the president must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now, huh? Aides. No. <laughs> Tips so far. They're still video conferencing with each other. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. The Secretary of Defense... Yeah, they took all of that out. Wow. ...is fully aware of the situation. After so that was an updated version that had the abbreviations in it. Wow. I thought COG they always had that. Issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington... I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry yet. Is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes. They say there's a nuclear so shelter the where DIA, I live. The oh, they're near Camp David. Agency, the DIA. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. Oh, They'll be yeah. sending the a DIA. Boy. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. Yeah, there's two parts in this game that I really like. And they're vibration heavy, so I'm kind of curious how what they're, what's going to happen with them. Because this game actually somehow knows everything. I don't know how it works. Ah, shit. Was there another Konami game one? No, I didn't, I didn't look. Damn. I'm not going to be able to do that Psycho Mantis thing. Alright, we'll just go straight down. Like I said, if you're putting Easter eggs, put them pertinent to the scenes we're doing. I don't want to spoil this for people that have never played it. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. Really? So someone needs to penetrate <laughs> their intelligence and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. Deep penetration. What's the insertion method? <laughs> well, an air insertion is impossible. Why? Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Weird that he ignored him when he said that. Yes, within a few miles of it. The facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then... Don't you have, like, the most fucking underwater... Launch, whatever. Same as a torpedo. Like, whales and everything over no there. propulsion device of its own. <laughs> After the STV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Jesus you Christ. You to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water. <laughs> Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. Jesus, guy has to do all this. I don't even want to go outside when it's 40 degrees. <laughs> so that he covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP. Oh, yes. one-side procurement. See, you did do it. Secret black it's op. weird. Don't expect any official support. So far, this runs exactly like it used to. So... What's wrong with it? Uh, we're gonna find out. Like, so I'm playing on hard. I'm gonna fucking test it. If it's got all the lag and all the shit these people are talking about, we'll find out. Seems pretty fucking good to me so far. Are you cutting off? No, you, I see everything. Making sure the camera's set here. Time limit. See what I mean? I wonder What's what happens if you correspond to the numbers. Hours. If anyone ever does it, let me know if it hours. makes a lot more sense or something. Do they say Please. what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago. Okay. Five hour energy. Why the fuck I said that? It is one in the morning and I'm thinking about having to go to work, so things are gonna get a little weird. Support crew. What we got? Now I gotta see the big boss now. There's a lot more I know too. Need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. Zoom. I know. 
That's why switch I switched cameras to the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. What circle did? She'll be providing you backup by codec. A female analyst? She's built up an impressive record as an advisor to you. Oh fuck. I thought X might do that. Hang on, I'm sorry. Sorry. Now I know, don't hit X. What the fuck switches the camera? We need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. It's as far as I can't look That's further why I away. The assistance of a military analyst why is it letting me look down? Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by Kodak. Didn't think it'd let you do the female analyst? Born in Ukraine. She and her family were showered by the radiation the from the Chernobyl search team. Nuclear power plant Contact disaster in Kripa, city of three kilometers north of Chernobyl. She's also an expert on high After losing weapons. her parents who participated in the cleanup Where's at Chernobyl, from? she moves to the USA, joins the DIA, and California. leaves the bureau to become a freelance Seems analyst. Like Runs for the Assorted Information Magazines and U.S. Naval Information Magazines. Attends the what the fuck? Cabrera? I don't even know what that is. It's a hell of a resume on her. I don't think I ever read all that shit before. Alright, Roy Campbell. Damn, 20 minutes. Tired. Fucking shit. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that really the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're a lousy liar. <laughs> Tell me the real reason. Get your shadow penis out of my face. Stick. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. <laughs> oh god, I get to relive all of this. I hope I can beat this game in hard. I have no idea. Have I even played a Metal Gear in hard? <laughs> I don't think I have. And it's with commentary, so that's gonna be fun. And yes, I am going to talk over the movie. Don't tell me not to. If you don't like it, Kindly leave, go buy the classic, and chill yourself. I want to share this with people. My thoughts, and have fun. What was so far, you guys have been pretty cool. So. Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. Really? And my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. Really? What's she looks like you. What? She's my little brother's no, girl. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she died in the Gulf War. Oh, she's 18. That's Since nice how she's legal. Watching after her. We're old she is in Japan. Tony's the same person as an analyst. It's she has no real so combat experience. I'm but it's going to be more simulation I'm combat training. I'm just an old man psychotherapy and not I'm to be attractive to those of the opposite sex. Since when are we friends? So she could still I be attracted to the women. Since the fall of Zanzibar. Shouldn't you make it so they're not attracted to either sex? With my personality, I don't have too many friends. That's what I trust about you. It's what makes you human. What? Please, Snake. Because he has no friends, Snake he's human? Go fuck spell. yourself. That's a real fucked up thing to say. Alright. But I have two conditions. Name One. Them. I need lubrication. One. No more secrets between us. <laughs> I want complete Rip disclosure at all times. I need condoms, two. too. I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No cutoffs involved, okay? She's freshly 18, you're not like rounding up. Agreed. <laughs> That's why I was called. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. But one thing. Huh. What? I'm not a Colonel anymore. Just a retired old war horse. I understand. Colonel. <laughs> I don't know why I feel the smile there. I don't know if it's talented acting or what. I can feel the smirk and the smile. I love that. God, I wonder what this does if you play it in order. Bet it does something. Dr. Naomi. And the cool thing is, if you watch everything, you also get a cool little thing at the end. I don't know if it actually does aesthetically change anything. But they act like it does. I, I don't actually know. Because I've always done this. Every time I've played this game, I do this. I love that these briefing. Is she part of this operation, too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those men than anyone else. Oh. You mean you've seen naked? <laughs> Make no mistake. I'm not a nurse. I was in the pool. A <laughs> By the way, what was that injection for? Oh, that's heroin. You really should ask people what they're putting in before you let them put the heck in here. Other fluids don't freeze, even at sub-arctic temperatures. Nanomachines. Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Hmm. Now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Nootropics? 
Nootropics. I've never heard that word. Class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. Mental You'll functioning. Make you smarter, huh? <laughs> Anything else? Yes, Benzedrine. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for twelve straight hours. Benzedrine? That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nano machines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. That just was like a shake thing where you had to jerk off to charge the batteries. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry I told you it's gonna get weird. I'm still thinking of that fucking condom joke that popped into my head. Cause you gotta think condoms have been around a long time, dude. Someone, at some point in time, probably had the job to test the durability of condoms. So when machines came out and he could no longer, I guess, fuck things, cause I mean, how else you test them? But, but, I don't even know, like, if that was a real job, did somebody do that? And then if you get laid off from that, you can't put that on your fucking resume that you fuck things. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I just, I, I don't know why that popped into my head, but they had to test the durability and shit of it. So did someone actually have a job to go around crushing, <laughs> crushing puss? <laughs> I don't know why that popped into my head. the president of an arms manufacturing company. Because they didn't what have machines. What did they have at a nuclear weapons disposal Or is it somebody, like, blowing them up? Or <laughs> what the fuck was it? The secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Why? Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. My inside ship? Do we know exactly where they're being held? The DAPA chief has also been injected with the mini transmitter. Why are they ignoring you? should be able to pick up oh. this location on your radar. They did answer just really in a dicky way. I think we're supposed to go to that next. What the fuck? The first one to hear? But it wasn't unlocked yet, was it? Yeah, it probably was. Some of these only appear after you... I don't know if you actually can watch this in order at first. Because some stuff doesn't unlock until you know about the they thing really prior. The now I can camera change. Missile. They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discreet detonation I like that camera. PAL. This one. Permissive action link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapon systems. Are there secrets? But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Oh, look. Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that yeah, easy there's to get their hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. There you go. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you have enough money and the right connections. Really? Seems like a shitty way to answer that question. It doesn't seem like Snake believes a goddamn thing, does it? Right. Terrorist armament. I am not excited to play this one hard. You can kiss my ass. I'm taking my time. I know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. What about their battle experience? The six members of Foxhound in charge are all hardened veterans. They're tough enough to eat nails and ask for seconds. That's not hard, that's just stupid. Less from Foxhound. The others are next generation special forces. They're not your average grunts either. <laughs> Remember he said that. <laughs> no, this game blew our fucking minds when it first came out. Like I said, I'll tell you everything I can think of as I think of it. I'm trying to share this book, it's a first play, but also had some new stuff, and hopefully you guys teach me stuff. So what exactly it's fucking are awesome. Demanding? When I think Christmas, this is what I think, remains. dude. That's right. In my underwear and TV. Accurate, cell specimens. Like 15 years old, right? individuals genomic information. Cell specimens. Why would they want that? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces uh -huh. have been strengthened through gene therapy. So they're strong, You've but they're stupid. The human genome they have no experience. They're just They've strong. They're mapping the human genome, and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, we are doing amazing things with the human genome now, are we? Identifying those genes which are responsible for making my mind how much 
technology has increased. Does anybody know the uh, the rate and using gene therapy, the fraction able of to power those genes into the PS1 soldiers. has to PS4? Gene therapy. I'll explain this part. It's just insane to me how gene therapy, we we're living in the CGs that used to blow my mind. You know, blows my mind, disease. dude. And at the same time, splice in genes with beneficial effects, such as resistance to cancer, for example. In other words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases and at the same time add genetic characteristics as desired. Um, make your penis okay. a little bigger. <laughs> so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the same way, right? And what the fuck would be the yes. perfect soldier? You'd take away their ability to rebel. Identify which can also make genes. a good, like, how the and fuck would you do that, this? It's helpful if you can study the genomic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. Bruce Wayne. Wait. The fuck's his name? Oh, whatever. Oh, John Wayne. I just mixed up Bruce Wayne and John Wayne. Shut up. I don't even want to hear that shit. I like I said, it's 1.20 in the morning. And that's my excuse. What I'm going to do is we'll do this for the first episode. So if you guys don't like this, I'll give you a heads up now. For the first episode, I'm going to do this and the VR training to show you what that is. And then we will start the game. Genetic strengthening. Oh, I'm so fucking excited. I hope you guys enjoy this. I really do. One of the greatest soldiers ever. It's going to be so cool to see what people know about this game. There's so many secrets, dude. You don't mean big boss. That's right. We've been working feverishly to identify the genes responsible for his incredible combat skill. So far, we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldier genes. So his body was recovered after all. Yes. Wow. And his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. What is he, Walt Disney? His genomic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. I got pissed all over when I... <laughs> it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. You people are amazing. And then you're going to transplant those genes into soldiers? Hair somewhere. <laughs> yes. We'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. What if you had a hair on him and it's not his hair? Don't become what they are by acquiring like fucking... skills through training or experience. Create a we fucking now cat. We <laughs> factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. Snake, we can't give them his body. It's potentially more dangerous than all the nuclear warheads on that island put together. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. Oh wow. The Sons of Big Boss. Seems to have clicked something with him. How the fuck could he do this acting? They must have really talked the role extensively over with him. Does he do this himself or is he directed? Like, I always wondered that stuff. I mean, this is at a time. There's fucking barely. I mean, what the fuck? 98. There was barely any voice acting in games at this time. It was there. It wasn't very good. I mean, like. I think Resident Evil 2 had come out, and that was phenomenal for its time. God damn it, I'm trying to think. What else? I really can't think right now. Next Generation Special Force Unit. I'm trying to fucking think of what was out in 98. I know Parasite Eve was, but there's no, again, no voice acting in that. It's kind of, I think, my generation. I, I'm not going to say better, but why we play games differently than you guys do. Because we were forced to have an imagination. We were forced to give these characters lives, personalities, because it wasn't there for us. It's, it, it doesn't make us better or anything, it just makes us different. And then this stuff came out, and this just blew our minds, seeing Tell me about these next generation things you could never do any other way. I can't, like I said, everyone I know played the fuck out of this demo. Made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and the nuclear emergency search team. Huh? Their purpose was to respond to threats involving right. next generation weapons of mass destruction, including NBC weapons. God Until damn it. they were at it, that is. Now, the more you know just fucking they, happened in my head. These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. What the fuck are you talking about? Mercenaries. Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and Force retrained. Force 21, huh? If you ask me, these so-called next-generation special forces should be called simulated soldiers. 
they have no real experience. <laughs> this game, player, this huh? game predicted the future. Don't forget, they've all been oh, fucking Call of Duty. <laughs> They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. You gotta admit, they were right though, weren't they? Just because they don't have much experience. And now we're basically fighting, we're fighting war to VR now. Modified soldiers was they they use drones and shit law. in VR. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. Yeah. The interesting thing is that see, it's fucked up. That is true, they're only declarations. ...inspired in this attack. I guess it's got me thinking freely too. About, you know, you, you felt safe as a kid and then we played this, you didn't feel safe, I, I didn't feel safe anymore. Also, a reminder, I lived right near Fort Dietrich at the time, so Resident Evil 2 came out and this came out and I'm just like, <gasps> so I, 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 my safe bubble just popped. Because <laughs> Dietrich, yeah, if, if you know anything about Dietrich, look it up, Fort Dietrich. Fucking insane. How could an entire unit be subverted? So many them? viruses and stuff are there. A revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The son's a big boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. Huh? According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising. They tested them? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. <laughs> That's why there was a recent Fuck of you. troops. Is there any sign? How they signed up for the discount to get the gum? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently they consulted classified information. I was in a line with a guy that did the exact opposite. It's a GameStop of all places. And the girl's like, well, you're in the army, why didn't you ever tell me that? Apparently he goes there all the time, he and even uses that, discount. It's like, over yeah, I guess some people don't care, that's cool. Even that is cool. the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. We've been hoping to you invest in didn't join for a discount, like Fry. <laughs> deal with behind closed doors. Man, we did not watch this even fucking close to an order. Wonder why he fragmented it like he never did this well the team. Never did anything like this. Actually they did. Republic. I really want to put that on this channel. I wanna put a million things on this fucking channel, man. I'm trying so hard. But I don't want to inundate you guys. Like I said, I'm gonna wait and see. This is a test of the Ayato 666 broadcasting system. And if this does well then I'm gonna put Metal Gear 5 on here. If it doesn't do well, then I'm, I'm trying to assess what's best to do where. It's not that I'm mad or anything. You guys can check out my Patreon. You can. I only have it set up for a dollar a month. If you want to do that, to help the channel. It's fucking amazing. If not, there's that. It's not the reason that I'm not putting things on YouTube. The reason I'm not putting things on YouTube is I'm trying to to speed up projects, to play and get more fun out there, but I'm also trying new ideas, like I got Kingdom Hearts going right now, right? And Kingdom Hearts is going to not be saved at all. I'm recording it, I'm sharing it, but it's 100% meant to be an experience that we share together. Why am I doing this? So you have a reason to hang out live, you have a reason to check out the old stuff, you have a reason to go to the other site, because none of the content will ever be the same. I know it's insane, and it's demanding, but the reason I'm doing this this way is because all my favorite idols, all of them, all believed in experiences and sharing things with people, and I want to do the same thing. Because it's what I always loved, like Linkin Park. You never went to their concert and heard what was on the CD. When you went there, you heard something new, you, you actually had an experience. I want to do something similar. I want to have a great time, share great times with you guys. So, Unit Foxhound. I hope you're, I hope you're excited, man. I am. I'm trying to make my channel original and different. It's not hard. Your People don't seem to really be trying. They just record of. gameplay and pretend they're doing stuff. An elite group combining fire I'm sorry, if you're not expertise. commentating while the game is talking, every bit is you're, uh, you're just a thief. Them. Sorry. So they're still around. Could you imagine watching like fucking Animal Planet and right when the animal's on, the commentator just shuts up? With this <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's not the commentary. That's 90% of what I find on YouTube now. Decoy octopus, I don't know. Do they, they have never watched commentary? Vulcan they not know? I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. 
I'm not saying I'm the best in the world. I'm just saying it's fucking stupid. If you shut up during the movies, it's not commentary. Looks like a lovely bunch of folks. Yeah. Too bad we'll be meeting under these circumstances. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader. What the fuck are they talking about? This is running fine. Liquid Snake. Yes. And you're the only person who can stand against him. What the fuck? Uh, Liquid Snake. Also, I think, uh... Don't get me wrong, Troy Baker and Nolan North are phenomenal talents, I love their work. I still think, I don't know what, what yours is, who your favorite voice, I have a couple favorite voice actors, but I think Robin Williams is probably a huge one, rest in peace, but I think one of my favorite actors has always been Cam Clark. He's the voice of Liquid Snake, uh, he's the voice of, I think, Ryudo in Grand Aya 2 and Melfus. I mean, he's just fucking awesome, I love his voice. I mean, what the hell happened to him? I heard him doing, like, Comcast commercials and shit. I don't know. I guess just like anything, Hollywood's like, eh, we had that. Or, or they do something, I don't know. I don't know why actors like that just disappear. I don't know Liquid if it's snake. them or Liquid society snake. or what. The man with the same like poor David Hayden. You. Tell me what you know. Which I actually agree with that one as a Metal Gear fan, so let's start the fight. <laughs> Because you know what? I, I'm gonna say this like up front with you guys. You should have an open mind, Metal Gear fans. David Hayter did a phenomenal job. But how many times did you mix up the characters of Big Boss and Snake because the voices were too, too much the same? I completely agree with them doing what they did. I'm sorry it happened the way it happened, but I, I do agree with it because it was getting really hard to follow the story because the same voice was in your head for both characters. David Hayter did a great job, but it just it got confusing. He was After right. I'm sorry. He was right to do what he did. And became a member of Foxhound. But I don't know why they didn't left, fucking do like an alternative version. Games. You know what I mean? Hire Hater to reshoot the so script as, as redownload and like fucking look at it. dub it over or something. I mean, I would think as a game Here's you could do that, him. right? It's not like the the fucking script changes. Pretty shocking, huh? I don't know. Well, I guess he doesn't want to work well. Yeah, he doesn't work well. Otherwise, you two are exactly. They may have actually done that if he actually. Stayed with Konami, true. I, I didn't think of that. I don't know the king way to see the fucking new, new game, so. dude. It's gonna be cool. That's why we really need you for this mission. That's true. You're the only one right? who can beat him. Now that I've met you, I know. What? Shut up. You've got something that because he doesn't. I'm naked? What are you I can talking see it in about? Your eyes. My eyes aren't down why there, don't bitch. I find that thought more comforting. Because she's looking at your your dick and wondering why it's so small. Like you said, you were in the pool. <laughs> God damn, George Costanza. I still think of that moment all the time when it said, what the hell was his name? Jason Alexander married Britney Spears. Everyone for like five seconds thought George Costanza married Britney Spears. Oh my god, that was one of my favorite fucking times ever, dude. Here we go. Some actual gameplay. I need to borrow your scissors. See, I don't know if this actually changes. Don't worry, I'm just gonna clean myself up a little. I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. Yeah, I'd love to know if that actually does aesthetically change anything, I don't know. I know this is the kind of game, if you do stuff without sneaking, you get different dialogues, you get... It's cool, man. It, it's cool. It's a really, really... Fucking playtested... You know what the hell's special? see how you guys are first, but I would like to do it. How bad is this? I could do a readables for this. Yeah, dude, we'll do a readables for this. Fuck it. I want to get fully into this. Alright, VR train. Train move. Let's go. Oh, shit. Sorry about the squeaky. I need a new chair and I'm lazy. Because you got to make them. They're fucking pain in the ass. Fucking... I don't know who the fuck makes the directions, but they do not understand. I don't know anything. Like, how the fuck do they think you're holding it? I, I just, I don't know. I, I used to think home improvement was stupid for making fun of, like, and oh, I'm gonna throw away the directions. I fucking throw away the directions myself because they're fucking garbage. You would think they'd get better. No. <laughs> we fucked it. Oh, fuck it. Who's that? 
Alright, so I wanted to show you guys what happens when you fail. I've never done this with D-pad dish. Dish. <laughs> is that the dick and dish? <laughs> Fuck it! Oh my god, this is hard as fuck! What? Uh, is this game playable? God. Well, there's two ways I can do it. This is one. What's the fastest way? Is it this? I'm gonna think of Metal Gear 2. Because I think the fastest way you can do it is this. Yeah, I think that's the fastest way. I actually have VR missions, but not not on disc. Uh, well, not, oh my god, I actually feel like I'm playing on PlayStation. I, I have it on my Vita. Use the radar effectively and head for the goal. Soldiers can't see behind them. You do this. Da -da 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 you turn around? Damn Hideo Kojima. I think had great programming. I might need to turn this down a little bit. Let's try... Let's try there. Alright, continue. Do, 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 do. That should not have worked. I think that was broken. <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> I don't think it was supposed to happen. Next up. Take the safest path, path and head for the goal. Call when necessary to get through narrow spaces. Right, you know, we just straight go like this. I found this out a long time ago, man. I told you I played the shit out of this game. Do 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 do. Done. And plus, I want to see what happens with uh, Konami, because I hear Konami is a nightmare, but that's also channels that are like making money. I'm not even there yet, so we'll see. Find the best route and head for the goal. Some routes are less guarded than others. What the fuck was the trick here? Shouldn't you see me? Hello? I just get spotted. It's not even time. What am I doing? This isn't fucking VR missions, you idiot. Oh, the memories. Oh, I was gonna go for a fucking sucker punch it. I don't know why I always like, used to fuck with my friend. Like, Impressive, Steve. He's clearly, she's clearly saying Steve. <laughs> It's, it's one of those things that even though you know you're wrong, if you say it to other people, they hear it just because they're looking for it, even though it's clearly not what I don't know, it's weird. They're finding out that's like a real syndrome, too. Head, uh, if you say something, other people will just start fucking believing it. Head for the goal and avoid making left footsteps in the differently colored areas of the floor. Uh, what was the trick to this one? Yeah, they're sleeping. He's not sleeping. Good. Damn, that's a good shooter. I think if you get up right here, they will not catch you, right? Ciao! <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all coming back. Come on. I'm gonna finish this episode once this is done. Head for the goal while avoiding surveillance cameras. Directly below each camera is a blind spot. Oh shit, nope, gotta go the other way. Fuck, fuck. Controls are coming back. I've never done this on D pad. It's gonna be an interesting experience, dude. Makes me wonder if people could play this again too because of the original way. I said I never did this. I, as soon as DualShock came out, I got it. I immediately ditched this controller. <laughs> this is interesting to me. Head for the goal while staying out of the enemy soldier's field of vision. Crouch to hide behind, hide behind low walls. Yeah, I might even drink a little bit. I don't know. 
I swear I could get behind him. You s oh, you can. You're an idiot. Just not yet. I fucking hit that button. It's gonna be a fun game. It's gonna be a fun game. Wow. It's funny, you haven't even fucking taught me how to crouch. See, bitch? That's the fastest way to do this one? That I know of. Yeah, if you like this and you miss like VR missions, dude, go check out a game called Volume by Mike Biffle. Fucking phenomenal. He also made uh, Thomas Was Alone. Both games are amazing. Be careful of- oh. This is what blew our minds. At this time, nothing did this, did it? I don't even know if Siphon Filter did this. Be careful about leaving footprints and head for the goal. The enemy soldier will follow them if discovered. I would spend hours just leading these little sons of bitches. Checking behind him. He's like, what the fuck? Does he ever stop? <laughs> he the uh, like that he looks behind him though. That's fucking awesome. I was really hoping, but what the fuck? <laughs> Go! <laughs> fucking shit! You got this, dude. You still not? Yeah, you can knock. Huh? Who's footprints are those? There you go. That's how I know how to do that one. Fastest. I, I love that I'm like. It's not just me. So this makes me feel better. I love that like I'll watch <laughs> watch a video back. I'm like, what the fuck was I even trying to say? And I love that I watch other people and they do the same thing. You're just so excited. You know, to share it with people, to have fun. Millions of things pop in your head, you're trying to multitask like crazy. Knock on the walls and head for the goal. Enemy soldiers are sensitive to sound. Use them to lure them. Huh. <laughs> What's the trick to this one? Do I need to? Well, this guy's on crack cocaine. Oh, son of a bitch! I think you can do that. Hang on, I'm gonna see. I think you can do that without luring that bitch out. Hold on. I wanna see. I wanna see how well they playtested this game. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I don't even need to use sound to lure this guy out. Go. See? I want to see if I can do this one. It's fucking hard. There's no way. There's no way, dude. Ah, uh, yeah, he, he doesn't have a blind spot. Okay. So I have to use sound. What is that guy on? There's not one character like this in the game, is there? Bullshit. What's up, fella? The fuck you don't hear that. <laughs> You're welcome. I said any secrets, dude, I'm gonna have fun with this playthrough. If you do this many times, he speeds up and he runs to it. He's like, what the fuck? That's why I do it multiple. I think this is the last one. Ten, right? Is it? Is it? Head for the goal while using all the skills you've learned. Watch out for the searchlight. This looks easy. Fuck. 
dude, I'm not gonna have this. Oh, that was easy. That's the best I know how to do. Yeah. Yeah. Impressive Alright, that is going to end our first episode. So let me know what you guys think. I said I hope oh what? I don't remember all this shit. Was that really good? I thought this was only in the VR game. Son of a bitch. Really? I can't. There's no way the battery's gonna go long enough. That's what she said. God damn it. So there's gonna probably be one more mode, if not two more. I wanna see if the fuck unlocks. I'm coming back to this. But for now, let's end this here, guys. I'm the Adam666. I hope you enjoy this series. And I hope you're excited. We'll, we'll give it a start here. We'll stop it here. See where it goes. It didn't make sense. We'll give it a start and we're ending it. We're gonna give the series a go here. What I'm gonna do is uh, end it here, upload it, and see what happens. I'm probably gonna make more videos of it tonight. But I wanna see if Konami attacks it or. I don't know. Other people have playthroughs of this. But, like I said, I'm not making money anyway, so what do I care? I really, the only reason I created a YouTube channel, I wanted like a Game Facts, but with a live person. And also, we never did this, so I want to I wanna make this up. So I'm going to finish this video, and then I'm going to end it, promise. Because I, I ruined it by accidentally skipping it. But after this, I completely forgot where I was going. <laughs> I'm just so excited, man. I don't know why. This puts me in the mood. It makes me feel like it's the holidays. It opens my heart. I don't know what the hell it was about this game, and nothing ever replicated it. There were many great games, don't get me wrong, and there are many great games now. But none of them did what this one did for me. So cool. Let me know if this isn't your series, what's yours? So let's have fun, man. Let's just have fun. And hopefully the excitement will keep you around. And just hang out. We're going to be making jokes. We're going to be having fun. I'm looking at this in a different light. I want to see how I take it as an adult. In Alaska's Ohio Ohio class. What? Was attacked and captured by next generation special forces. Being led by members of Foxhound. God damn. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. And they say that if their demands this doesn't are not really make sense if you do the briefing. Hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. I guess you can skip it too. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue Dark and Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. I wonder if people in the military what like play this now and like realize how not viable this shit is. The there are there is a lot of truth in the series though. Like I found out later in my life that a lot of the people that made this series actually served. That's why they did such a good job. They knew their shit. See, he did have them. I don't know what they're talking about. Everything feels good. It doesn't seem slower or anything. I did have to be used to the controls, but I expected that. I said, I want to see if I can get you guys behind this. I will gladly do this. It's going to be a lot of rage, though. I'm so spoiled with your fucking analog stick, man. There's still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly shot. So far, you don't need to explain any of these fucking names. Again, yeah, I don't need to explain that name. Okay, that one you did. Giant and Shaman. I'd throw a fake name in there. Pee Wee Herman, just to see if he's paying attention. Formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader. Jose Cuervo. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just throw a fucking fake name in there. Oh, don't you follow the end controller, you bitch. That's another thing, the dual shock is a lot heavier, so it stays on your lap. I gotta get used to this, man. It's like relearning the system again. I love it. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. Like the whole top fucking series. Black op. Don't expect any official support. Wow. I still think it looks pretty good. 
Okay. And yeah, when we come back, I'm gonna. I didn't lie to you, but I'm not gonna make this three hours long when the battery's about to die. When we come back, I'm gonna try to finish up the uh, the VR. That's the tutorial. That's the closest thing you get back then. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Ian Six Six Six. I will catch you in the next part, where we will continue with Time Attack. Peace out.